Hello everyone and welcome back to Soul Standing. My name is Beth and this is my promised wrap up for all the books completed between January 11th and the end of the month. So stay tuned to see what I read. The following books are in no particular order. You will notice most of them are picture books and beginning readers, but I have a four-year-old and the reason I set my Goodreads goal so high is because of all the new books we read. I did severely underestimate her ravenous hunger for new stories, however, so instead of reading 16 to 17 books in the month of January, we managed to do 30 with like 19 or 20 of them being her reads. And those are only counting the new reads. That is not counting any rereads because we reread The Princess in Black. I don't know how many times. And she and my dad read um, Snowman Postman, I believe, like every night last week when I was sick and couldn't read to her. So uh, even with a hello, Boo Kitty, even without including all of our rereads, we do have 30 on our Goodreads goal for January, which is insane. But anyway, I am digressing and it is now time to move on to the books. All right, Boo, here you go. See, look, you can say hi. There. There you go. There's the Boo Kitty. All right, moving on to the books. Curvy Tree by Chris Colford. This is a Land of Stories companion picture book. We gave it five stars. It was awesome. For on Sunday, the Magic Tree House, number 52 by Mary Pope Osborne. We gave four stars. We enjoyed it. I Can Read, Batman, Meet the Superheroes. We gave five stars. We love the superheroes. Curious George Learns the Alphabet by H.A. Ray. We are huge fans of H.A. Ray. This, of course, got five stars. This is Fancy Nancy, There's No Day Like a Snow Day by Jane O'Connor. We listened to this on audiobook. Four and a half stars, I think. Loved it. Crow Hollow by Billy Coffey. This was one of mine. I gave it three stars. Enjoyable, but not the best. Wicked Will Rise by Danielle Page. Book two in the Dorothy Must Die trilogy. Give it a 3.75. It was good. Not great. Seven Dead Pirates by Linda Bailey. Five stars all the way. One of the best middle grade reads I've done in the last year. Lady and the Tramp by Mouseworks. This is a classic Disney book. Five stars. She loved it. Barbie.com, Kitty Surprise. I think we gave it a four star. It's very cute, but nothing major. Drama by Raina Telgemeier. Raina is one of my absolute all-time favorites, and I gave this five stars. The second book in the Fairy Tale Matchmaker series, The Perfect Match, I believe I gave this four stars. It was very cute. El Defo by Cece Bell and David Lasky. Very cute memoir. Gave it four stars. Land Without Color and The Great Sugar War, the first two books in the Land Without Color series. These are both by Benjamin Ellison, illustrated by Kevin Cannon. I gave them both very strong three and a half stars. I enjoyed the story and look forward to book three. First of all, A Tale of the Wicked Queen by Serena Valentino. This is a Disney Press uh, book about the origin story of the evil queen. Very much enjoyed it. Gave it a solid four stars. And those are the vast majority of the books that I have read since the 10th. Like I said, any rereads are not on here, and I have a couple I didn't finish. But all in all, I feel like I had a very good reading month, which is probably due to the fact that I didn't have much else to do for the last five days or so. Uh, hopefully, I will not lose my time to read now that I am back up at work. But either way, I'm very pleased with January. If you've read any of these books or want to let me know what you read in the month of January, please come talk to me in the comments. Do not hesitate to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys again very soon with something else. Until then, read something good and write something better. Bye.